Hey there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for a brand new video with a brand new game to the channel. This time it will be Prison Architect. We will be designing our own prison. So what we can do is we can either play the campaign, we can view some cutscenes, but we're going to create a whole new prison. Here we are. Well, you can set up a lot of things when you just start a new prison. Now this series will not be about making this it as hard as can be for myself we can do it at a later video or at a later stage but for now i just want to show you guys the game because i've been having a lot of fun with it so we're going to set this up just in a way that i can show the game to you and that you can see how much fun this is so we're going to start on a world size that is medium we're going to start with fifty thousand dollars that sounds like a lot but it's not i don't want any weather intensity problems i don't want any reds because i hate those if we turn on fog of war we won't be able to see like three quarters of our prison as long as there's no guard present so we're not going to turn that on yet we can turn it on later so that's not a problem we do want forests to be there we don't want any failure conditions because i don't want to fail we do want criminally insane inmates just not yet so we'll turn that on later and basically we have set up everything now just to get the feeling of the game and just to play a nice game so here we go let's play and here we have our little map and I'm going to pause the game it's going to happen quite a bit more often so this is the map that we can play on right here we can build our prison we have a road which will serve for us to provide us with trucks with this case our workmen but all the building materials that we need the prisoners will come down this road in a bus and they'll be delivered to the prison and you basically have to set up everything so as you can see here we have a little delivery area so all deliveries will come in this area if we have any garbage from the prison it'll be put in this area and trucks will come pick it up and we really do have to just take account for everything every wall every toilet every human being in the prison is under our control which is what i love about this game you do get a lot of control on your prison now here we have the full map here we have a to-do list we have a few documents to read we need to accept a few grants which are a great way to make money and we can see that there are already prisoners coming in even though we don't have put up a single wall yet so let's see the CEO guidelines on criminally insane inmates well here's a long document on how you can treat your criminally insane inmates. we're going to keep this document so I'm not going to delete it the CEO's letter well congratulations on completing your basic induction you are now a fully qualified prison architect well thank you I already did all the tutorials and the missions so yeah I know what I'm doing so yeah every prison needs a warden individual jail cells are expensive I know but we're going to build them anyway get your kitchen and canteen up and build a prison is an expensive undertaking you need to become a master of raising grants well we will let's delete this mission so we don't need that anymore now before we going to start you can press the escape button you get into the menu and there's a whole set of extra settings that you can do in this game and one of the things I'm going to set up right now in the map settings is that inmates can turn criminally insane we're going to change that off because in the beginning we won't have money to build cells for criminally insane inmates and they'll just destroy your whole village or your whole prison now we don't want that because still the game I just want to show you how things go what you can do with it so we're going to change turn that off you can see especially fog of war events we can turn a lot of things on later on we will do that just not right now so now we can really start off the game let's pause again so what we have to do is basically set up everything we need to start with a place where the prisoners can arrive where we can check them and then we have to put them into prison cells we have to get them into a canteen where they have to eat we have to provide some things to do for them and that's all what we have to do and right here we have our building menu some of these things are still locked we need to research them others we can straight on build now this is a very handy tab here you see a lot of stuff going on in your prison we can see how many prisoners we have minimum security medium security maximum security we can see what we can take in as prisoners what we get for it that's really important because we need a lot of money we can see all the jobs that there are to do there are some things still locked that we can only see once we unlock certain persons here are the grants that we can get so people will pay us money if we build like an administration center we need to build two offices hire a warden unlock finance and then hire an accountant that will give us five thousand in advance and five thousand upon completion and these are great ways to make yourself some money 
Of course, we need to reform our prisoners. Everything is pretty bad now because we don't have anything yet. So all prisoners that will be released will re-offend. But we'll have to get this down to... Well, basically zero, but that's nearly impossible, but we'll see. And here we can see the coverage of plans that we have. Well, let's start off with a few grants to make some extra money. I think we're going to go with the administration center. That's what we want. So we'll just click it. There it is. We got 5,000 in advance and we'll get 5,000 upon completion. And we will get the basic detention center. We need to build a holding cell, a shower, a yard. We get 20,000 in advance and 10,000 on completion. Now that gives us a good amount of money to start with. We can only pick two grants at this time. We can raise the limit to three once we get an accountant. We don't yet, but that's okay. Alright, let's start setting up our prison. There are a few menu items I will go over quickly and then we will just get into building. You can lay foundations of your prisons. You can do brick foundations, you can do concrete foundations, which will um, which is basically about the wall type that you get. You can get concrete walls or brick walls. We can bulldoze some stuff. If prisoners dig a tunnel, we can remove them. Then, of course, we can build the interior walls and other stuff like that. We can do the flooring. We have to assign rooms, and we're going to start off with that because here is our delivery room. It doesn't need walls, etc., so that's pretty easy. But I want to keep this clear. I want to have a path of two for people to enter the prison. And I want this to be 5 by 15. So now we can see it's 5 meters by 15 meters. This hole is now the delivery area. Do the same with the garbage area, although I want this 5 by 10. So we'll make it a little bit larger and that's it. Now let's see, what should we do? Well, we have to build some stuff. Here we have all the objects that we can put in a prison. So we can put in beds, we can put in toilets, we can put in benches. Well, I'm not going to go over all of this. We can hire staff. We're not going to do that straight away, but we'll do that soon. Of course, we need to have utilities. We need to power our prison. We need to give everyone water. That's all coming along nicely soon. There is a quick build menu where you can easily just get like, um, well, I want a holding cell. You just click it and there you have it, a holding cell. We're not going to use this right now, but we can do that at a certain time if we want to. For now, I just like to build everything myself. So here you can see there's a big shower area here, but we're not going to do that. If you want an impression on what's easy, you see a very basic cell, just a bed and a toilet. You can rotate them around if you want to, but yeah, I'd like to build everything myself. And for that, we are going to start with the planning tool. I really, really love the planning tool. It helps you to plan walls, doors and objects. Now, I usually only use it to build walls and that's what we're going to start with now. Now, of course, you can see that we don't have that much money. And what I want, in essence, is a completely walled inside prison. Because you will see that if we build like a fence here and prisoners can walk around here, people will throw stuff over the fence and they will pick it up and you get a lot of contraband in your prison. So basically, in the end, we want everything to be inside to remove all the contraband people can throw into your prison. But there's no money for that because we'll need a lot of foundations to do that. So we're just going to start off right here, right now, by planning our prison. And we're going to just plan one room, 12 by 12, so the inside will be 10 by 10, and here we have planned our first room. We're going to do the same on this side. We'll leave four spaces open. That's where the corridors will be later on, if we get the money and we can close things off. Now, of course, we need to wall this out, and here will be a big prison door. Same on this side. And here we will have our first two sections of prison. We will build a reception here, where prisoners can be searched when they come into prison and we can strip them of contraband before moving them to the rest of the prison this will be the holding cell and alongside the holding cell we need a small shower this will be the shower area and well if we look at this we have a holding cell planned we plan a shower we have to get a kitchen a yard and a canteen yet but let's first focus on this one we'll have to see this is six so we're going to go six out of the side let me see. You can't build on the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, like this. So here we are going to plan our offices. Now our offices will be five by five. So we'll need to plan them out seven by seven. Now I can understand that some of this will just sound totally crazy, but you'll see in a minute what I mean. So now we have planned this. Now it's time to do some actual building. 
So we get to the foundation. I always turn off the auto lights. I want brick foundations. I like it that way. And we just click and select this entire area. Now a foundation will be built in this area. Of course you can see it requires an entrance. So we're going to build in doors. We're going to build four separate offices for the staff. So we put in staff doors. That means that only the staff can open those doors. So prisoners can't get in. And now we have planned out our little office area there. Now we're going to lay foundations right here. We're going to do it just like this. Just a nice foundation. And we have to put in doors here as well. Well, we will put in two large jail doors. One here and one here. And this will help us soon enough. So let's unpause. Let's get time rolling. Speed 2. And here we will have our first parts of the prison. Now you can imagine if prisoners come in and they'll be put into a holding cell and they roam around this area, they are all free to move around and just escape. So one of the things we need to do is fence out this whole area. And that's what we're going to do exactly right now. We're going to just build a fence all around our prison. So here we go. Now I'm not going to do this side yet. We'll do that soon enough. Just not right now. Yeah, that's good. We're going to build a fence starting from here. And a fence cost a little bit of money. They don't need any materials for it, so they can build that pretty quickly. And now we can already see, once this is done, that three quarters of the entire area will be completely locked off, which is great. They'll keep the prisoners safe. Ooh, here we have something special. There's a little notebook paper laying around. You'll probably notice that I have already collected quite a few more. This is page 20, page 33 of the notebook. And the notebook pages, you can see we already have unlocked a few, will give you valuable intelligence on building a prison. We already have quite a bit. And you'll find them every now and then laying around in your prison. Same with little photographs. And it's really fun. And if you read them, they can really help you get some understanding on your prison. All right, let's speed things up a bit. We can see they're collecting the concrete, they're collecting metal, and now they are starting to build these areas. Luckily for now, we have a positive cash flow. And let's see, because we have only eight workmen, so things will take quite long. So I'm going to hire a few extra, and we want 15. That's it. All right, they'll do all the work now. So we get a few rooms, but we still don't have anything like power or whatever. So we'll need to work on that. Let's get a power generator and a water pump. I'll put them right here in the corner. I think this is a good spot for them. We'll fence them off, of course, just to make sure that nobody can touch them. So we'll build a fence around it. Oops, that's a bit too far. There we go. Let's do this. Now, of course, it needs a door and only the staff needs to be able to get in. So we're building a staff door. And now they're safe from prisoners and they can start to provide us with some power and water. Of course, we need to draw power cables from the generator to the water pump. But we also need to get the power up here. So we need to build some power cables and some water lines. And that's exactly what we are going to do right now. Now you can see, you can just plan out everything. They will start to build it. Trucks will come bringing all the electrical cable that we need. They will bring in the piping that we need. And they will just put it down. All we have to do now is keep an eye on this and see once it's done. Now we can see here, this is the foundation. As soon as it's completely done and they have removed most of the stuff inside, the area will disappear or the, these, these metal things will disappear and you will see the flooring and everything will be so that we can change it out. Now, I'm going to pause for a second because there are still prisoners coming into our prison and we don't have any space for them. So, our prison will be closed for a while until we are able to actually accept a few prisoners. Then we will open it up and we can um, make some money that way. Alright, I heard this one. Yeah, there we are. So, now we have the rooms here. It's all just big rooms. So, let's set things up. We need a brick wall right here. We need a brick wall here, and we need a brick wall here, but we also need doors. We will make a normal door into the reception, that'll be fine. Of course, we need a jail door to enter the holding cell. And we will need a normal door again to enter the shower area. And let's just designate these rooms straight away. This room will be the reception. And now you can see this 
red triangle up here and it will tell you what you need inside this room in order for it to actually function as a reception. So right now it won't function as a reception. It will do that later on. So what we have to do is get the objects that we need. An office desk, a table and a chair. So let's get an office desk. We'll get two in this case because looks do matter and I think this makes this makes it looks nice. We need to put in tables where they can put like the new uniforms for prisoners and the um, all the stuff that they take from them. We need some chairs there. Once this is done, we'll have a working reception. All right, this was going to be the holding cell. So let's see, what do we need in a holding cell? Well, it needs to be five by five at least. Well, that's what we made it. It needs to be enclosed. Well, that's soon be done. It needs a toilet and it needs a bench. But in this case, we're going to put prisoners in there. So it also needs a few beds. So let's put in some beds. So, this should provide room for 10 prisoners. I guess we should put in some um, toilets as well. One, two, three. And we need some showers. One, two, three, four, five. That five will be fine. Put some drains in there. Don't forget that, because otherwise your prison will overflow. All right, here we go. This should be sufficient for a holding cell. What we need to do now is designate this to be the shower. All it requires is a shower head. Well, we bought those, so that should work out. And then we'll see, but things are coming along nicely. They are building the fences now. We have the power station, although we can see already it's using quite a bit of power just to power the water pump. So we might need to boost it a bit. You can do that with capacitors. They're pretty costly, but they'll boost the power quite a bit. So that's it for now. And then we need to extend our power and water, of course, to provide us with what we need. Now, it's completely dark in here. You can see all these workers are carrying headlights. So we need to put in some lighting. So let's do that. Let's select the light. Now, you don't have to um, make sure that the light actually hits the power cable. As soon as a light is close enough to a power cable, it will automatically be powered by that power cable. The water, however, really needs to be uh, attached. So you need to build a small pipeline that is attached to the big line. And you need to do that for every single unit. It'll be fine though. And as soon as they put everything in, you'll see. We need to put in some lights here as well. Luckily, we don't need any water here. So let's put in a few lights. There we go. Perfect, looks great. And here we can see that already the first lights are being put in. They are being powered. You can see there's the small lines going to the power cable. And here we have a completely lit up a holding cell. All it needs now is a bench. We'll put two in here. And then we have a working holding cell. That's nice. We have a reception, a holding cell and a shower. Here we have our power utilities. And up here we get the offices. Now we can see this building is done as well. All we need now is put in these walls and designate what this should be. Well, that's pretty easy. You just go to office and then we'll select these to be offices. The thing is, we need some stuff in there for it to be operating as an office. So we need an office desk. So let's build that. One, two, three, four. Now I'm building four offices because I know in the coming hours will get a few extra people in there that all need offices. It's always nice to have a few more offices available. We don't really need a leather sofa, but just I just like the look of it. I also want a coat stand in there, just because I like it that way. I like to make things look nice a bit. All right, well, they will put in all the stuff that they need, and then we'll have some offices. For now, how far along are we? Well, we have a holding cell. But it still has a problem. There are no canteens accessible by this cell. Prisoners in this cell will have nowhere to eat. All right, that's the thing we need to work on. So what we got right now, prisoners will arrive. They will go to the reception. They'll be stripped of what they're wearing and all the contraband. And then they will be brought to the holding cell. But now we need a place where they can eat. So we need to start working on a canteen. Now here comes the planner in effect. I'll clear all existing plans. So there's nothing in the way anymore. Because right now we can plan out the rest of the prison. Because I don't want the canteen in this area, because there won't be any prisoners close by soon. So 
we'll need to move the canteen like right in the middle here somewhere. How am I going to do that? Well, that's pretty easy. I plan on building everything inside, so there should be some corridors right here at a certain point. So let's just plan it out. One, two, three, four. That's the width of the corridor. So here will be a wall. And now we can do some easy planning. Because I will make a cell block right here. I will make a cell block right here, and then the canteen can be in this area. How big should cells be? Well, there should be a place for guards to walk, so we'll leave three spaces open. Here will be the first wall. And I think a cell should be two by three. So this could be the very first cell that we are building. One, two, three. So they need walking space in here, so we'll leave open two squares, and here we build another cell. Now we can do the same on this side, save some space. Then we'll do it like this. And ta-da, we have planned out a few cells. This is all there is to it. But now we can see if we are going to build cells here at a certain point, how much space we need. Next to this could be the cafeteria. Now let's see, this is 23 wide. We're going to make the cafeteria just as wide. So we'll make it like this. And then we'll put this up. Doesn't really matter how big, we'll make it... I don't know, 15 big for the time. Although, no, I'm not going to make this 23. I'm going to make it 23, but we'll leave some walking space in here. One, two, three, four. And then we'll do it 23 by, I don't know. Should we do 20 or should we make it wider? I think I want it to be wider because we're going to, we're going to have to feed a lot of prisoners. So we'll do it something like this. 30. All right, that's it. So, there's the plan. One, two, three, four, five. So, this should be the kitchen area. This should be the canteen area. Let's start working on the foundation right here. How costly is it? Oh, not that costly. We need to put in doors, of course. Well, the canteen can... Or the, the um, How do you call it? The uh, kitchen area should only be accessed by staff. So, we'll put in a staff door. And, of course, the dining area can be accessed by normal prisoners, so we'll put in a normal door. There we go. Alright, let's keep checking the perimeter. Are they almost done with the perimeter? It appears so. It is dark, but we can still see it. Yeah, they are almost done with the perimeter. So I think we should close things off now to make sure that we can accept our first prisoners. So let's build a little fence right there. And we will build a fence right here. And then things should be completely sealed off. It will be amazing. Now, I made a little planning error. So we're going to remove this one and do it one, two, three, four, five, and then place this one. That's how I want it to be. All right. Well, we will have to wait for this to be done. At the same time, we can work on our utilities. So we need power in the kitchen and we need some water. So let's lay out these cables. We do need some power up here in the offices to provide some lighting in here. So we'll do it something like this. And then, of course, we have to put in the lights. One, two, three, four. There we go. Well, the offices are done. So we could hire a warden, I think. Yes, we can. All right. Now we have to unlock finance through bureaucracy. Right up here you find bureaucracy. This is basically a thing like your research tree. So you can see our warden can research quite a few things. And if you, for instance, research security, it will lead to a whole other stuff of researches that you can do. For now, we need to unlock finance so that we can hire an accountant and then get, for instance, extra grants available and some other stuff. So let's start with that. Finance, it will take six hours. So he will start working on researching finance. As soon as we get that, we can hire the accountant and we get a bonus of 5,000. And we can unlock another grant, so make some extra money. So that's always a good thing. Ooh, we can see daylights coming back. They are really building here. That's very cool. So hopefully soon we get a kitchen and then we can invite our first prisoners in. Although we also need a yard. So we're going to work on that as well. Just to make sure that we are completely ready. One, two, three, four. We will build just a little yard right here. 
We'll build it like that. Just a little fencing. We need to put in a gate, of course. Where the prisoners can access the yard. And that'll be it for now. You can do a whole lot of different things with the yard, but this is basically the most easy way. And we can already set this up to be the yard. So let's just set it up. This is the yard. It should be in an enclosed area. It is, because we have enclosed the entire prison. But I want to keep my prisoners a little bit more concentrated in this area. So they'll just finish this. And then we also have the yard. All we need now is a kitchen and a canteen, two guards, two cooks. And we get 10,000 extra. Which is very nice. And as you can see, they're building this pretty quickly. So soon we can start to uh, map it out. What do we want in there? Where do we want it? How do we want it? Alright, there it comes. Perfect. Let's pause for a second and let's just plan the rest. Alright, we need to build a wall in here. And there needs to be a staff room, staff door in here as well. Because they need to be able to, the cooks need to be able to put the food in there. Alright, this is it. Let's make sure that we get a kitchen area. So this is now the kitchen. What do we need in there? A cooker, a fridge and a sink. Well, let's get a few cookers. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get a few fridges. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get a sink where they can do the dishes. And what I always like to get is a recycling bin just to get rid of waste. There we are. And a food tray dispenser. Well, here we have a kitchen. Perfect. Let's put in some lighting so they can see what they're actually doing. And that's it. There we have everything. Now we can set up the canteen area. And as soon as this is all done, we can start to take in a few prisoners. Alright, we need a serving table, a dining table and a bench. Let's go here. Now the fun thing is, once you're over a room, this will highlight the items for that room, so you can see that the cooking stuff is now away. If we go here, we can see the cooking stuff lighting up. But if we go here, then we'll just see the items that you really need in this room. Which I think is something great, they did perfectly, because that really helps you to find what you need. Alright, let's put in a few dining tables. One, two, three. We need some space in between, of course, where the benches can be around these dining tables. Now we're going to make this big because we're going to get a lot of prisoners in the end. Not right now, but in the end. And I don't want to get back to the canteen all the time to just add a few benches and things. So it doesn't cost us that much. So we'll just finish it like this. Now, of course, we need some lighting in here as well. So let's get some lighting. And there it is. This should finish the canteen. Now the thing is, always be aware of what you are building. Right now, all these structures, these, these things need power. So we need to connect them really to this power line. So every cooker needs power. They will power each other. But one of them at least needs to hit this little power line. Same with the water. The sink really needs its own water. So you have to get a pipeline there. All right, here we are. Benches are already put in. So now they're going to put everything in. We have a yard. So I think it's time to open up our prison. Now I want to get the ratio 50-50. We'll get 50% minimum security as they are available and 50% maximum security. So let's add a few prisoners to the prison. We'll set it up to 10 because we have place for 10 prisoners. They'll arrive in 18 hours and they will make us some money. Now let's see. We have 10 beds, a shower, so they can sit out here, they can eat here. But we also researched bureaucracy, so we need to get the accountant. Now it might as well be, yeah, we exceed our daily budget. So our daily budget is not enough to hire the accountant. Now I know that if you hire the accountant, you can um, exceed your daily budget. So we need to get this accountant. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the staff, we're going to fire a staff member and now we can hire the accountant so let's do so we can immediately rehire that workman we got the 5000 bonus which is good I would like to have 18 workmen right now we'll run a slight deficit but they'll be fixed soon enough as we get prisoners and since we completed the grant we can get another one now I'm going to wait a little while with the new one just until we get the um, basic detention center done because then we can get a very nice grant 
that I really want. Same time, while they are building this, we can continue to plan our little prison right here. Oops, that's wrong. So, I want to get like, I don't know, 10 or 12 cells each row, and then see how much prisoners we can put in there. So, we're going to do quite a bit of planning right now. It'll be worth it. All right, we'll have to do some counting as well. So let's see. Oh, that's going bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight cells. Nine cells. So we're going to go up to ten. All right, this should be ten. So this is how big the building needs to be, at least, to house ten cells. Well, that's it. That's nice. But... All these people also need things like a shower. And I'd like to provide that with them. So... Let's finish this. And then we'll add a little space for showering. And that should be our complete cell. Alright, let's do it like this. Yeah, this should be good. So here we get a shower area. We'll open this up. And here we have a complete cell block. There's room for the guards to walk. We have 40 prison cells that we can completely fill out. We have some space for showers. I think this should be it. Question is, how costly is it? Probably pretty costly to build this straight away. Yeah, 14,000. Which means that in the end, we won't have that much money left. But I know we'll get the grants. And that will be great. So, yeah. We're just going to put this down anyway. Then we're going to hire two guards. Two cooks. And that'll land us an extra 10,000. Or 20,000. Because of an error. We got double up the money. So let's find new grants. Well, we're going to build cell block A. Which is raise your prisoner capacity to 15. Well, we should raise it to 40. So that's cool. And we're going to do the um, prison maintenance one. Or should we go for staff well-being? I think we're going to go for staff well-being first. We need to build a staff room, have at least five guards without assigned duties, and ensure none of your staff are exhausted. Well, I think that's a good thing. So we're going to go with that. All right. So we laid out the foundations. What we need to do now is put in a few doors. We'll put in two large jail doors. And now we can just see them starting to build, which is excellent. We can see a guard patrolling, which is also a nice thing to watch, of course. So we've been at it already a little over half an hour, and there's still no prisoner inside. We're going to continue until we have a few prisoners in. But if you were in this to just watch me build a completely functioning prison in like 30 minutes, that's not going to happen. But I can assure you, this will be a pretty lengthy series with a lot of things and a lot of fun and a lot of things I'm going to show you. So I hope you will stick with me for a while in this series and build this prison together with me. I think that will be fun. All right, we need to build some lighting here, by the way. Now you can see our prison is starting to get filthy. That's why at a certain point we need to unlock maintenance, which we're going to start already. Even though we didn't get the grant, that's no problem at all. We can finish that grant later on, and even if we have all the prerequisites already done, we'll just instantly get the money, so that's a good thing. One of the things we need to start planning is our um, staff room which will be right here. So this will be the staff room. We don't need it yet. We're going to build our prison cells first because we are losing quite a bit of money now. That's not what we want. So we really need some prisoners in to um, start making some money. That's why you can't just build an entire prison with like 50,000 grand. Grand, if you just start, then you need like 500,000 grand. So to make this a bit of a challenge, we will start to... Um, we will we start it with just the cash that we did and we really need to get some prisoners in but it's still going to be a lot of fun and in four hours the prisoners will be there all right let's slow down a bit so what we need to do now start planning all these walls now that's a little bit tedious of course you can do go to planning and just say build plans 
um, but in my opinion that just takes time because there's a lot of delays in there that I don't like so I'm just going to do this by hand it's going to take a little bit of time but it will be built quite a bit quicker oops that's not supposed to happen luckily you can quickly erase things with the right mouse button if you make a slight error so that's okay all right well I think once we have started to build a section of it, we can unpause again because now they will really start to get the materials and start building. If we wait until we have selected everything, they won't be doing anything. So for now, let's just get them building. Now, I can already hear some of you screaming that I don't have any utilities in here yet. So there will be no power, no water. And that's completely true. We'll add that later on. For now, we just need to map out all these walls. Now you might understand that as soon as we put prisoners inside our prison, all the prison doors will be closed. So the last thing we will put in is prison doors, because every time a workman goes behind a prison door and it closes, it needs a guard to come up to it and open it up again and that's going to take a lot of time so we're going to not put in prison doors unless the prison is completely ready or a cell is completely ready all right we got the walls let's put in a light in each cell yes it takes a bit of time but it's worth it and of course our prisoners need some time a light and a bed and stuff so let's just put in everything luckily daytime is coming so there's a lot of light out here Ooh, there's a little error. Let's get rid of this wall. Yeah, let's do it like that. Otherwise, they would make a little mistake. Alright, here comes all the lighting. We can already see that some cells are completely getting ready. And now, let's see. What should we get? Well, we can put in beds, of course. I like to put in the beds like this. And I like to make all my cells look the same. Now every now and then you will see these red squares appear. That means that an area is inaccessible for somebody that is working there. That will happen every now and then. As long as you make sure that they actually are accessible. It will go away at a certain point. It can just be that somebody had planned a route. And then because of a new wall being built. He no longer thinks he's able to go there. But they will just disappear. Alright, let's start to build in some utilities. As you can understand, we need a power line all the way up here and here, just to make sure that everything gets powered up. And if we want to put in um, things like showers and um, toilets, we need piping. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to lay a lot of piping and I'll show you why. So here we are. All cells now have their own piping because all cells will get their own toilets and we'll put them in straight away and I think not long from now we will have our first completed cells which is actually quite good at this point imagine how much money we can make already if we get like 40 prisoners into our prison that will really make us some money. All right, there they are. Still very busy working, doing good things. We can see already beds being put in. I think it's time to set up the shower area now. There needs to be utilities here, like this. And now we can set up a few shower heads, which we are just going to set up like this. We'll leave one in between, so there's less chance of the big fight because they have some room we need to put in some drains to take care of the water there's always a chance that things will go bad anyway but then you can just hire some emergency services that'll take care of the water or something like that but for now we don't need it I do like some lighting in here so let's place a few lights in there and of course we can set this to be the shower area where is it? Right here. So this is going to be a shower area. 
Are there already toilets in? No, not yet. No toilets. Inmates are coming in, though, but we can see there's a little bit of a traffic line here with all these shower heads and stuff that we are building, but that'll clear out soon enough. We still have 15,000, so we can still put in some more stuff. Now, what I'd like to do is put in bookshelves, because a cell has, an, has a certain grading. And the worse a cell is, the worse prisoners you can put in. But prisoners will also start to complain. And the more complaints there are, the likelier it is that prisoners will start to riot. So you need to keep them happy. And one of the ways to keep them happy is to give them enough things to do in their cell. And right now, with this, they can read a book, of course. But this will make sure that most prisoners will be quite happy, actually. If you just feed them, give them a nice cell, won't have to be a hotel, just a nice cell with a little addition to it, they will be quite happy. And you can um, make sure that they won't riot as much. And I'm always very happy with prisoners not rioting. Right, let's keep an eye out. We can see there's bookshelves coming in. Prisoners should be arriving soon. Don't see them yet, but they should be. We can see our office is working. I think, yeah, the maintenance guy is done. So we'll research cleaning now so we can start cleaning. We do need to hire a foreman for that. There he is. He will go into the office and start to research cleaning. Hopefully now the bus will appear with the... um. Prisoners, because I do want... Yeah, there come the prisoners. That should give us some money. All right. We need to keep an eye on the guards, though, because well, there will be ten prisoners. We only have two guards. So I'm increasing the number of guards to four to make sure that we um, can handle the prisoners as soon as they start to become bad. Now, you will see right there, they will pick them up, bring them into this... Um, reception area, they will be searched and stripped of their old clothing. They will be given some new clothing. Sometimes you will find some contraband with it. And after that, they will be brought to a holding cell, or at least they should be. Ooh, this door is a problem, so let's lock it open so that they can continue to go through. We should do the same here, I think, since there's no prisoners in there anyway. So that's the problem with um, prison doors. They need to be opened and closed by a guard, which, of course, with the outer door is fine. But with all the other doors, that's not so fine. All right, so we got some prisoners. Our cash flow is getting better than it was, but we need to improve it even further. But here we can see a few of these cells are almost done. So the last thing we are going to do this episode is put in a few cell doors. Three, four, five, six, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. And once these are in, our prisoners will be able to get their own cell. And they'll be nice. We will be able to invite more prisoners, which will also help us raise money so we can end this episode on a nice thing. Now, I'll leave three cells open. Why? Well, I want to put in solitary doors there because when prisoners are bad when they smuggle in contraband or whatever they will be put into a solitary cell for a little while and we need those of course so yeah let's designate these three cells as solitary cells now as soon as the door is in it'll be not fun and we can designate these as to be normal cells you have to do it cell by cell this way we select all individual cells. See, the general quality of our cells is too low, even with the bookcase, but that'll work itself out. Now, we just speed things up a bit. Here come the doors. And now, soon enough, once a cell is done, prisoners will be transported to their cells. So we can see we already have room for 22 prisoners. So let's up our intake. We're going to up that to like 30 prisoners or 35 I think yeah 35 we'll get a good payment for it so that's nice so let's see where are we now well we have a very nice cell block with prisoners in there you can see they're in their cell right now we have a reception area we have a holding cell if we need one we have a place for them to eat we have cooks that cook the food and we have some administrative buildings so as for a start 
we are there. And it has been 45 minutes. We got ourselves a little working prison. And as soon as all these prisoners arrive, we will run green numbers. But we'll save that for next episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or things you want to tell me, just let me know in the comment section. And then, of course, I hope to see you in another video if we continue our little adventure as prison architects. Bye-bye.